All right, it's Colleen and I'm with Michael and you are a naturalist here at the Oregon Ridge Nature Center. I thought you were the head chef. Oh, today he's the head chef. Today's the head chef, yeah. Today's the head chef and he has brought, as you can see, lots of ingredients to cover up the fact that I'm actually gonna eat a cicada. And as you can see here, tell us how you prepared everything that you were bringing. Well, look, he's got his little um, Boy Scout um, pan <laughs> so we could cook this out here in the nature pavilion. And the cicadas in here, did you get these from your backyard? Uh, these are from a place in my backyard where we're sure that um, no herbicides or pesticides have been used. So Good. these are safe to eat. And then did you get them while they were still alive? Uh, go out in the evening, okay. uh, 9, 10, 12 o'clock at night. Uh, the cicadas will be, have come up, up, will go up the vertical surface like a tree. Uh, they'll molt out of their shell. So what you can see on one of the cookies is the nymph and it's split open in the back. That's where they pop out. And then one of these neat little cicadas will be up here like this and just kind of pluck them out. And that's what we want to eat. If you eat it when it's a nymph, you're going to have a crunchy shell. So you get a crunchy meal. If you uh, eat it uh, once they've hardened up the next morning, they'll be crunchy. So this is the time to eat it. It's kind of like eating a soft crab. Okay. So he says. <laughs> That's how he's convinced me to try it. And the girls over here, Donna Jean, say hi to the interns here. Hi. Hello. They tried the cookies and you said they were good? They were, they were good. good. Yeah. Very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. So, so, so Michael is um, now trying to disguise the fact that I'm eating a cicada with lots of seasoning. Little Old Bay. Keep okay. it traditional here to Maryland. Yep. And then we're going to take our cicadas and just toss them in a little bit of corn flour. Oh, there you go. Lots of corn flour. A little bit more Old Bay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And then we're going to cook them. And then we give them a little shake. Yep. Shake and bake. So supposedly these taste like shrimp. I've never tried them in this way. Okay, but you have had them. I have had them, yes. How did you have them prepared? In those cookies. Okay. And, so, and you're gonna have no, one with me, did you say? Nobody you gets a cookie until said? they have their dinner. <laughs> uh, and yes, I'm going to oh, try good. it. Yay. I promised folks on my uh, Facebook page that I would uh, let them know what it tastes like to eat a fried one. Okay, good. So here we go. It shouldn't take very long to fry up. To go along with them, we have a little cocktail sauce, some honey mustard, and sriracha. Just keep in mind that uh, you shouldn't be eating these if you're allergic to shellfish. Okay. So if you're allergic to shrimp, not a good idea. I did not know that. Um, Thank you for that information. There you go. So we'll just give out a few seconds here to kind of uh, fry up. Oh, it smells nice and, good. Nice and brown already. Smells like shrimp. Maybe by the timing is one Mississippi, two Mississippi, <laughs> three Mississippi. I think the longer you cook it, the better. The better. Yeah. You know, I don't know, has anybody had any uh, uncooked cicada? We don't want to find out. I did read where if they're uncooked, people say they taste like uh, canned asparagus. So not oh. being a friend of uh, 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 preferring asparagus. Yeah, canned right. asparagus, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to the cooked version. Okay. All right, I'm going to take my toothpick. All right. Give you a... Choice of sauces here. Dun 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 dun. All right, you gotta have one too. Okay. So let me see. I'm take this one right here and a little honey mustard. And you said that's sriracha. Sriracha. Yeah. Okay. A little of that. We go with the. Uh, Ready? Cheers. Cocktail. Cheers. <laughs> Cicada season. Mmm. You did a lot of the cornmeal. And that was a good idea. They're good. <laughs> but they are good. Yeah. Wow. Cicada wheat on 100.7 The Bay. Thank you, Michael. My pleasure. Everybody enjoy the cicadas. They're only here till 
a few more weeks and they won't be back till 2038.